This video was made just for you. Do remember to like, share and subscribe. Now try this. Here is an activity for you to do to understand standardized measurement. Take a ball of string. Okay, any thread. Take a ball of string. Let one student from the class measure four hand spans of the string. Now what is hand span? Hand span is from the uh, tip of your little finger to the tip of your thumb outstretched okay hmm, outstretch if you outstretch your hand okay that is the palm so from the tip of your little finger to the tip of your thumb that will be called the hand span so you have to uh, uh, let one student from the class measure four hand spans of the string and cut it there now let each of the other students in the class cut four hand spans of the string Okay, so now you have a bundle of strings. So each one, each child will do the same. Okay, they will measure four hand spans of their own hand and cut the string. Now hold all the pieces together by one end. Are they all of the same length? Think about it. No, they will not be of the same length. Some will be little, slightly. Okay, slightly different, shorter, longer. Now measure the length of a bench by means of the span of your hand. Now do the same thing with a bench. Okay. So from the tip of your little finger up till the tip of your thumb outstretched hand. Okay. Outstretched palm. So start measuring it. Ask your friends to do the same. Did each of you obtain the same measure for that bench? No, no. Everybody little slight difference will be there. What could be the reason? Okay, what will be the reason? Because the length of a hand span is different. If instead the students, if we call teachers to do it. Okay, so teachers' hands will be different, isn't it? Standardized measures are required for measuring things. Such measures are called standard units. So therefore, since if we measured with our parts of our body, say for our uh, no length of the hand span or maybe length of our hand. So what will happen is there will be differences and so there will be arguments, isn't it? So everyone's measures will not be same. So therefore, it is very important to have a standardized measures. Standardized measure means some measures that will be same for everybody. So that is called standardized measures and the unit in which we are measuring is called standard units. So can you think of some standard units? Yes, kilograms, meters, centimeters, even our time, temperature, all these are standardized standard units. So we have to measure many physical quantities accurately. Accurately means we cannot make mistakes, isn't it? While measuring, say, for example, a person is constructing a building, so it has to be perfect each and every little minute detail has to be very perfect so therefore we need to measure physical quantities accurately to measure any quantity we use the unit specified for it so for example the meter that is the short form we write it as m is the specified unit for measuring length a certain distance has been accepted as the standard for one meter why is there a need for such a standard units? So we already saw if we measure with anything else, everybody will have differences, isn't it? And so will, there will be chaos and confusion. So therefore, uh, suppose a span of a hand is accepted as a unit for measuring length. With this unit, we can measure lengths of the cloth as two hand spans, three hand spans and so on. However, the length of the cloth measured by each one of us will come out to be different. So that is why a hand span cannot be a standard unit for measuring the length. So therefore, we cannot use it as a um, you know, for a uh, standard unit. So, therefore, there has to be a specific standard unit for everybody. Always remember, prevailing system of measurement. So, which is this system? There are two systems made and one is called the MKS system. What is this? In this system, distance is measured in meters, mass in kilograms and time in seconds. So, M makes meters, K is for kilograms, 
and seconds is for time. So therefore, this system is called the meter kilogram second. So MKS system. In the same way, we have the CGS system. In this system, distance is measured in centimeters. Mass is measured in grams. And time is measured in seconds. So whenever we have to measure smaller units. So we will measure in centimeters, grams and seconds. So this system is called the CGS system. In MKS system, of measurement, distance, mass and time are accepted as the fundamental quantities and these three quantities are used to measure all other quantities. Okay, so for example, mass is kilograms and grams. Distance will be meters and centimeters. Time will be seconds and seconds both. Okay, so speed will be in meter per second. And over here, it will be centimeter per second. There are many physical quantities, but a majority of them are related to each other. Now, there are so many things we measure in our day-to-day -day life. There are so many different things. For example, you have learned that quantity speed is the ratio of the quantities distance and time. Ratio means we divide the distance by time. Okay, that's how we get the measurement of speed. So, this way we can measure various other things. Now, try this. Work out the area of your classroom. Which quantities are taken into account to calculate the area? So, suppose you have to find out the area of your classroom. So, which quantities will you take? You will take length in meters, isn't it? So that will be the best way. So you will measure the length and you will measure the breadth and you will measure it in which uh, the single unit, you will measure it in meters. Okay, and then to find the area, you know the formula, it is length into breadth. So you will multiply the length and breadth and that is how you will get the area of your classroom. Now let's understand the fundamental quantities. It is enough to select a few out of the many quantities and standardize their units. So you can see from the above examples that units of the quantities length and time need to be standardized. So we need to have length and time to be standardized that is the same for everybody. Such quantities are called fundamental quantities. So they are the basic quantities that we use everywhere around the world. So they are called the standard units. And um, sorry, such quantities are called fundamental quantities and their units are called standard units. Of course, a standard fundamental unit must be available to all and it must not be variable. So, it should be the same for everyone. It should be available to all. Everyone should be able to measure the same thing. Okay. And it should not vary. Okay. It should not change from person to person. Therefore, we have the international system of units. An international system of units based on seven fundamental units called the system international. In short, it is called SI. It is currently used all over the world and it is also called the metric system. Okay, so there is international unit. Okay, system. It is system made to calculate the seven fundamental units. So, the names and symbols of the units of the fundamental quantities are length, time and mass. And on this basis, other things are also measured. Uh, measured. So, in this system are given in the following table. So, if we have to measure the quantity length, we will measure it in meters and the symbol is M. Mass is in kilograms and the symbol is kg. Time is second and the symbol is S. Standards of the fundamental quantities. So, how did they come up to this? So, as a standard of mass, a solid cylinder made of a platinum iridium alloy is kept in the International Bureau of Weights and Measures and Paris. So, there is an office, okay, and it is called the International Bureau of what? Weights and Measures. So, all the weights and measures, it is an international office and where is it? It is in 
palace. So what have they done over there? They have taken a platinum and iridium. So these are metals. It is an alloy. Alloy means they are mixed together and made into a new substance. So a cylinder made out of it is measured okay and it is taken as one kilo and that has been kept so based on that all other weights are made of one kilogram okay so as per the international agreement this mass is called one kilogram so whatever cylinder they made of whichever you know mass that mass is called one kilogram official accurate copies of this prototype are kept in the standardization laboratories or institution institutes all over the world so same same measurement okay of the same measure prototypes prototypes mean similar types okay so prototypes mean similar types are made and kept in various parts around the world so that people from uh, all over the world can measure one kilogram Two fine lines are engraved on a platinum iridium bar kept in the International Bureau of Weights and Measures at Paris. So they have made two fine lines. Okay, fine means very, very thin lines are engraved. Engraved means markings are made of those two lines and the distance between these two lines is accepted as the standard meter. So, they have marked two lines at a distance. Okay. Again, they have taken the platinum iridium bar. So, they have taken a big long bar and they have put two lines on it. And the distance between those two lines is taken as a meter. So, standard meter. So, that is the measurement of one meter. So, that is accepted as the standard unit all over the world. So, everyone should be of that same length what is kept in Paris. So, accurate. Accurate means exact copies of this prototype are made and distributed to standardization, standardizing laboratories institutes all over the world. So, same type duplicates have been made and they are sent all over the world so that they all over the world you have the same measurement of one meter. The time required for one revolution of the earth is measured by means of an accurate device and this time is taken as 24 hours. So we take how we have divided time. We have calculated the time taken for the earth to take one revolution okay so one revolution therefore that time okay is divided into 24 hours and to standardize one second one hour is considered to have 60 minutes and one minute as 60 seconds okay so that is how our 24 hours have been divided into minutes 60 minutes and then each minute into 60 seconds to find out what is an atomic clock and where is it kept how is the velocity of light used for determining the standard meter okay so find this out and to check your answers you can visit our website at www.jkacademypro.com you'll get the link in the description box below now let's get acquainted with a scientist okay great scientist when man felt the need to measure things, he started by using the parts of his own body for the purpose. So, initially when people had to measure things, so they used to use their own uh, parts of the body like the hand span or the, ha uh, the length of the hand, okay, arm length or you know how many feet. So, that is how they would measure. Now, in Egypt, in ancient times, the distance from one man's elbow to the tip of his middle finger was called a cubit so from elbow to the tip of the middle finger because that is the tallest finger na, in our hand so from the elbow to the tip of the middle finger now this measure would differ from person to person isn't it some are tall some are short so even the elbow arm length will be different Therefore, the cubit of the king was considered as the standard. So, what they did was, since it was different from person to person, they measured the king's 
cubit that is the king's length from the elbow to the his the middle tip of the middle finger so in olden days we weighed gold in a unit called gunj and an hourglass was used for measuring time have you seen one so you must have seen the hourglass na uh, not the real one but you must have seen pictures or videos of it okay so the sand was put and in one hour the sand slips from one part the top part to the bottom part so that is called the hourglass do solve the exercise that is given at the end of the lesson and to check your answers you can visit our website at www.jkacademypro.com you'll get the link in the description box below do remember to like share and subscribe i hope you enjoyed the video i'm sure you may also enjoy the following videos you'll get the link in the description box below